A lot of people around me right now are talking about alkaline water. They say it's part of alkalinizing your body and that alkaline water is way better than normal tap water. So I decided to try it for two weeks to see if I felt any different. Now, if you've never heard of alkaline water, I'll give you a quick explanation. As we all know, water is a combination of hydrogen and oxygen, or H2O. The pH level of water tells you how acidic it is. The pH level of anything ranges from 0 to 14. 0 is most acidic, 7 is neutral, and 14 is most alkaline. A glass of orange juice is about 3.5, which is acidic. A glass of milk is close to neutral, which is about 6.7 to 6.9. And a black coffee is around 5, so that's acidic. The goal with alkalinizing your diet is to aim for liquids and foods that are less acidic and more in the alkaline range. Why do people drink alkaline water? The theory is this, drinking alkaline water or alkaline foods for that matter reduces acid in the bloodstream and can give benefits such as improving your metabolism, increasing your energy, slowing down aging, improving your digestion, reducing bone loss, and some say it can also starve cancer cells. I'm gonna be drinking alkaline water for two weeks, so I probably won't be able to see all of the reported benefits, such as the reduction of bone loss and the slowing down of aging in that time. I guess if by the end of this video I look younger, then it will have worked. But the other reported benefits, such as the improved energy, improved focus, and improved digestion, they're the benefits I'm going to be most focused on. I currently drink about two to three litres of water a day, which is okay, but I'm going to aim for four litres, which is just under a gallon a day. To give you an idea of the acidity levels of tap water, if you're in America, the EPA, that's the Environmental Protection Agency, who look after things like this, their guidelines say that tap water should be between 6.5 and 8.5, but tests in the USA have shown that it generally comes in around 4.2 to 5.3, so it's more acidic than it actually should be. In the UK, where I'm from, the numbers are generally between 6.5 and 9.5. So already we know that water should ideally be in the neutral range. Now, naturally occurring alkaline water is water that passes over rocks, such as water from springs. The water in these places picks up minerals from the earth and from the rocks on its journey, which gives it the richness in minerals but the water we see labelled as alkaline in the shops is most likely made from a chemical process named electrolysis. Now, I bought an ionising water pitcher. You can buy full-size ionisers to make your water alkalinised, but because they were so expensive, I opted for one of these instead. Now, this is the one I bought. It wasn't too expensive, and the great thing about the water pitcher over the bigger, more expensive ionising machine is that this one is way easier to transport. So if I'm spending a day in the office or I'm going away for a few days, I can take this with me. As long as I have the filters, which don't take up much space at all. The way this works is it takes water and filters it just like the Brita water filters do to reduce impurities, but according to the box, it adds alkaline mineral hydrates to the water. So for two weeks, this is where all of my water will be coming from. So I just tested my water and it's come up dark green. And on the chart, it's definitely darker than nine. And I had a look online and some of the alkaline water that's being sold is actually pH nine. They say pH nine plus. So I'm gonna say that my water is alkaline enough in order for me to drink. I'll put a link to the picture I bought in the description below if you're interested. Now, I hit four liters of water a day. Maybe on one or two of the days I hit only three liters, but 95% of the days I was hitting the numbers. Just to let you know, I know earlier in the video I said that I'm sticking to this two weeks of alkaline water and I'm getting all of my water from the water pitcher I showed you earlier. I was outside today and I got caught short and my water ran out. So I had to jump into a health food shop and I picked up this. It's called Active or Acti pH. It's pH nine and I'm gonna be drinking that just because my water ran out and I wasn't able to get anything that was actually certified alkaline. And I just wanted to update you just so that you know I'm sticking to this two weeks of pure alkaline water. Now, when it comes to the results, I would say I did feel more energy. Now, I'm not a coffee drinker and I don't really use caffeine in pre-workout supplements or anything like that. I normally hit the gym three times a week with my current schedule, but during the past two weeks, I have been training and going more than usual. I do understand that there are other factors that could have played a part in me wanting to go and train more. One factor worth mentioning is that the weather did change here in London from gloomy grey to springtime sunshine and in sunnier times I'm usually more willing to go outside and do stuff. In terms of whether I felt more energy, over these two weeks I have felt a little less tired in the evening time. My diet has mainly remained the same throughout but I did notice not being tired around the same time in the evening as I normally would. Even with me doing more training in the gym I would have thought that I would be more tired in the evenings 
but I've been noticeably less tired and more willing to stay up and do more work. My concentration has been a little bit better too and when I did eventually sleep my sleep quality has been noticeably better. When it comes to digestion no real major difference is there to note but what I would say is the taste of high alkaline water for me is really quite noticeably different to normal tap water. It doesn't have a funny smell or anything like that but it does taste a little bit more bitter but yeah no real differences in my digestion only in the taste. I tried keeping things as routine as possible so they wouldn't skew my results in any way so that I could truly see if alkaline water had any real effect. So overall I would say that I did feel a difference, there was definitely something there. It could be down to the difference in mineral content, I really wish I could have tested the water more closely and seen exactly what the mineral makeup of the alkaline water was to give me a fuller picture but all I can say really is that there was a noticeable difference for me. Now before I started this two weeks of alkaline water I will say that I was skeptical mainly because everything I read told me that the alkaline diet doesn't hold much by way of scientific proof. So I went into this not expecting to notice anything at all. But like I said, I did notice something. I can't really speak for the metabolism, the bone health or the starving of cancer cells though. Now, will I continue drinking alkaline water? This two weeks has made me a little bit more interested in the alkaline diet. After the first week of this experiment, I bought a book about Dr. Sebi's work. And this book talks a lot about alkaline foods, which is something he was really big on. So I'm going to be cooking some of the recipes in this book to see what that's like. So overall, I would say that this experiment has really opened my eyes to something quite interesting. I'm really interested to know, do you yourself drink alkaline water? And if so, what's your experience been like? Let me know in the comments below. Now with that being said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.